Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotak and we are playing Battletech. Welcome back to the Draconians. We're gonna go after an interesting contract over here where we have to catch a convoy and then escort the convoy. Um, I've gone through the barracks, none of our guys really has enough HP to level up um, anything that we want. Uh, right, so let's go um, pick up the contract, let's do this. Um, save the prototype. We're just gonna do that because it is in the system where we want to be. Mm, this uh, requires us to travel somewhere else, so kind of don't want that. Definitely a contact where speed is of the essence. I expect that if pirate forces locate the asset, they'll already reinforcements from the capture research facility. Um, okay, so we can actually get a decent amount of salvage. Oh man, 522. 17. No, that is actually a huge jump, like, for not a lot more gain. We'll, we'll go with this. I think I like it. Like, we can get a full mech if we want one. And uh, we get 12 additional things. And then we also get half a million. So, that's yeah, that's decent. Uh, we haven't had any losses in the last contract. I think we're going to throw out the Centurion. Although, then again... I and mean, we have the Jump Jets, which allows us some additional mobility here. Blackjack has two... Five points in movement... Centurion has five points of movement, so they're actually equally fast, which actually makes me then opt for the Centurion, just because it can deal a hell of a blow. Now Blackjack is a bit underpowered. It actually feels like the, the Jägermack is also underpowered. I gotta look up like a good build for it. I probably don't have the most optimal. Maybe the stock build is actually better than the one that I'm running now with the four AC2s, giving it more armor while taking it out of the line of fire might not be the ideal thing here. Just a thought. But yeah, everything else is fine. Behemoth is driving the the mm, Shadow Hawk with with the um with the rockets, so that's fine. We should probably take Medusa in at some point, but once we can, we're gonna build that pilot thing that gives our guys experience even if they're not on missions. That's gonna be good. Hyperpulse generators controlled exclusively by Comsa allow near instantaneous video communication across vast interstellar distances. Alright, let's go. Command interface initiated. My friendly unit's about to come under fire. Right, so we really gotta rush there. Move to the position and provide support. Yes. Keep th get them to safety, keep them in tech, get out of there when it's done. Alright, okay, so, um, the Rainbow Reaper, the good thing is our Shadowhawks are really fast. Our Hunter, not so much. But we can strike from range if we need to. The Centurion, yeah, it's actually really lagging behind. I will make liberal use of the jump jets here. Oh yeah, brace. Yeah. Shadowhawk is really good because it's pretty fast. All things considered. Let's move up. Secure the rally point. Destroy the enemy blocking force. Okay, so we can bring the Reaper up. Copy that. Time to earn our money. Bringing everyone up. More hostiles. Ah, damn. Let's do this. All right then. I was maybe a little bit too fast here. Hey, he ran over a geothermal. That's not going to be good for his heat. We only have a spider here. We should maybe even be able to go up and punch him. That does a ton of damage with the with the Rainbow Reaper. Waiting for orders. Yep, we'll be able to punch that guy. So don't mind if I do. Acknowledged. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Engaging. Oh, did your left arm go? Well, that can happen. It's also unsteady now. Oh, there's a vehicle. I don't like vehicles. Can we see it? If we can get eyes on it, I might be able to just shoot it down with Behemoth. Okay, it missed. That's good. What's up, boss? 
Okay, Behemoth. Um, want you to jump over here. Up high. I mean, taking out the taking out the spider might also be good, but that can be achieved by someone else as well. Whereas taking out the oh wait, that other one already moved, but this one doesn't have any any damage reduction. Yeah, I'm let's let's just take that one down. Man, that thing is heavily armored. Crazy. Oh no. Oh no. That is rough. Getting shot in the back there. I hear ya. That is not good at all. We'll jump up, and I think we're going to destroy that vehicle first. Yep, Alpha Strike. Give it everything that we have. Yep. So that one's gone. Bye -bye. I mean, Shadowhawk is pretty heavily armored. Uh, we have another vehicle coming in. Great. Yeah, a striker. So some long range missiles are incoming. Could be worse. Could be worse, for sure. Alright, so... This will give me 90% hit chances. There's no way that I can see that guy up there, right? Well, yeah, I mean, taking out that spider is probably a good move here. The one thing that I can do is jump pretty liberally Engaging with the hunter, because we have good jump jets, and our guns, like, generate no heat. Damn it. Yeah, I think I think the AC twos don't provide enough punch. I think it's a problem. Might might switch the loadout back to something else. Good to go. Okay, so we've got Decker here. What do we do? Do we go after that gallon? When the spider went away. Kind of don't like that we have the Galleon in his back. Commander. So I think what we'll do is... We'll go with Firing Behemoth here. Try to remove that Galleon. Okay, that might have been a bit of a waste, but... Better safe than sorry. Getting shot in the back is pretty bad. I'd rather not, not take that. What can I do for you? Can we get up there in, in sight? Can if I do like so. Not amazing hit chances, but it's better than nothing, to be quite honest. Ready, set. Gotta watch our heat a little bit with her. I'm gonna go over if I do this. Oh, Got it. Let's try to hit the striker. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What's up, boss? Not good. Well, that guy is gonna get punched Roger one that. more time. This should take him out. Yeah, center core is gone. He's out. Target neutralized. So that guy's gonna move. He didn't move out of range, he's actually coming closer to us. That doesn't impress me. So I'm I'm guessing that we actually gotta go in that direction, right? It looks like it. Yeah, that looks like the landing zone. Mm. With that in mind, we probably might just wanna try and pull our hunter mech forward, like always move and shoot instead of just standing around. Yeah, okay, goodbye. So that happened. Enemy unit destroyed. Secured the convoy ready point. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. 
Good, it looks like you've secured the area around the convoy's position. They're ready to make their way towards the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Keep in mind that the convoy will try to stay near you for protection. Continue advancing to them to get them to the extract point. Okay, so we've got these guys. Sleipnir. There's a wheeled APC. And yeah, exactly. We gotta get up there. Should be doable. Ensure all convoy units survive during extraction. We'll try to do our best there. Uh, it's probably also gonna give us some bonuses, which would be nice. Even 10% on our stuff is like gonna be 40,000 or something. Yeah, no, please guys, take your time. Okay, enemy turn. We're not in combat right now, so we can like we can sprint to our heart's content here. Confirmed. If we wanted to. Centurion is gonna bring up the you rear. Betcha. Big problem is Behemoth, but Behemoth at least has like the Shadow Hawk, which means that she will be able to move pretty fast, especially along the road, and she doesn't need to be in range to deal damage, which is cool. Okay, okay, we have enemy contact. Let's see how that goes. Question is, are these guys gonna concentrate the fire on our vehicles or are they gonna concentrate on us? Hmm, I can have someone jump onto that ridge maybe. Okay, we have a panther over there. Moving out of moving out of sight actually. It, that's not a problem then. Ah, oh, we have a commando commando um mech. It's not good. Ouch. That is rough. That's another mech. God damn it. Okay. Commander. So that is a definite thing. These guys are way too far off. If I sprint, I'm almost as well off, but I don't get any heat. So we've got to sprint. We've got to sprint after them. Do they really expect me to just use, like, light max for this kind of thing? They might. Oh, no, come on, just wait a second, you idiots. No, I'm just gonna drive towards them. I mean, okay, they're attacking that guy. That's something. It's good to go. Um, glitch. Let's just sprint glitch up as well. On the other hand, I could also have her jump up there. We can still do that, though, so... Just not happy that the guys that I'm guarding are just like taking taking point, moving at them right away. That is not something that I'm too happy about. I mean, they're removing some evasion chevrons though, so that's good. <clears throat> Orders. Okay, Behemoth, I'm just gonna have you move normally. And then we're gonna throw some LRMs their way. I don't wanna go for the Panther. I actually wanna destroy the Commando if I can, because it's not looking too hot. And that's some evasion. 34, oh man, 35%. That is, that is rough. So we're gonna try it. Yeah, got some damage in. Oh man, they have something much bigger in the back there. Can't say I'm too happy about that. I could jump over here, I could also sprint over there. Yeah, it's just a question of actually catching up with these guys. Oh man, I wish I was in there for real. Then I could tell them, dudes, you've gotta, you've gotta hold back a little bit. Like, yeah, what is this? 
<clears throat> Why are you guys leading? Okay, we've got an enemy turn. Don't know. I mean, what am I supposed to do about this? What am I supposed to do about this? If they just run up and stomp on them. How's that a thing? Did I really need to use all light mechs for this kind of stuff? I might just not accept these kinds of missions then anymore. Because this is pretty annoying. These guys are just insane. They're just charging right at them. I mean, I can catch them now, but that won't bring that other vehicle over there back. Well, I could, I should probably go for a precision strike here. Take out his leg. That'll here teach him. Come. Okay, the leg is out. Reporting. Critical hit. Get knocked down. I mean, just. Have these guys follow me instead of charge ahead, that will be good. Or not. They could also just charge right up. Waiting for orders. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just gotta accept that I won't be able to... To save all of them. Uh, that's just how it goes. Oh well. So, my boy. I'm gonna hit you with everything we have. Uh, yeah. You say glitch. Okay, goodbye. Bang, you're dead. <laughs> She's my favorite pilot. I just love Ready glitch. She's hilarious. Okay, let's, let's bring up Behemoth, and I hope Behemoth can actually take out that commander bot over there, because otherwise he's going to stomp on another guy. Yeah. Roger that. It's a good thing about the missiles, they at least have some chance to hit. Yes, okay, he's gone. Might be some good salvage there. I'm not going to accept that that is my fault, because uh, it isn't. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna just sprint me up here, because what else am I gonna do? Where's that last mech? Like, I saw the laser fire coming from up here. I don't see him right now. Could I? Oh yeah, I can do that, and I will, I, in fact. I, I want that, I want that panther out. That panther needs to go down. Center core, whatever. All nope, he doesn't care. Maybe these guys are gonna fire on him? Ah, uh, they're totally gonna miss a mech that is just lying there and doing nothing. Yep, okay. Standing by. Got it. I'm just gonna kick him while he's down. Targeting for physical attack. Yep. He's gone. Hostile eliminated. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. Looks like more contacts on the sensors. Looks like they're sending in additional units to destroy the convoy. Oh man, we really gotta, we gotta hurry. Could I move? No, we cannot move. These guys have to move first. At least they will no longer rush ahead of us. I hope, at least I hope they will stay here.
Okay, that is our dropship, I suppose. At least a friendly one. What are they bringing? I think this was another commando, from the looks of it. I mean, at least they're not in firing range. That makes me pretty happy. There's another one. I have enough Alpha Strike to probably take these guys out in one, in one hit. I mean, not all of them, probably, but some. Orders. So Decker, yeah, we can can run up, we can even jump up. Firing jump jet. Let's see what we can do. So what are we dealing with? Recruit, Panther. Oh no, no, these are all commandos. Oh damn it! Do we want to destroy the Panther? I think we do. Panther is the one who doesn't have any damage reduction. Man, this is actually kind of sucky. Let's try Precision Strike again. On him. We'll just try to hit the core. Targeting for an Alpha Strike. Uh, we did not manage to hit a lot. What can I do for you? The good thing about them all being... Oh, damn it. Sprint. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's sprint over. Centurion is too slow for an escort mission. Got it. It's definitely a lesson learned. Shadowhawks are fine. They're just Standing by. really, really fast, I guess. I copy. So bring the behemoth. I'll bring behemoth with the Rubicant. Still not great shot chances. We'll try to take that panther. Let's see how you like this. A couple of them will hit. Hmm. To remove the evasion. I'll jump up there. And we'll try to take that panther out with him then. I mean, this must be ideal now. Panther... Tell you what, now the precision strike is in order. We're gonna precision strike here and we're gonna just strike the torso. <laughs> that is how I was imagining that, that build working. So that is like ideal. Took one of one of three out, so that's good. Oh no, stop shooting! Stop involving yourself! Get away! Not here to fight you idiots. At least they are not in range to step on them, but it is still gonna be nasty. One nasty turn. Ouch. Oh man, this is rough. Well, the question is, if I if I'd used light max, would I even have been able to punch these guys out and take them out quick enough that's what I want to know okay um, death from above sounds like a thing here although on the other hand like if I come up I can just destroy that command over there and then we'll see how we deal with the other one at least we're in punching range now also striking him from behind he should be toast nope Apparently not. Hit, okay. He's unsteady. Okay, we get another will day PC. Receiving you. I'll bring up Behemoth and try to lob some Run LRMs back. on the other guy, hoping to actually make him fall down. Because the missiles do a decent amount of... Yeah, let's do it. Do a decent amount of stability damage. Oh, it's on now. Nice. Very One nice. That was good. That was good. I'm happy now. Good to go. Let's bring up Glitch. We're gonna jump her over here. Taking the high road. Her targeting skill is actually so good that even the evasion doesn't really help them all that much. Like we still have basic hit chances. If you have a look. Target moved, target size. But yeah. Bring it. Take 
And we get the Jäger Mac. Mm, I should probably use the jump. Oh wait, we don't have eyes here. We have eyes over there. Do I have another precision strike open? Is the question. I do. So let's strike that guy. Strike him right in the center torso. Damn it. I hit none of these shots. Definitely need to up my my aim a bit. Oh yeah. Yep, you totally did that. <laughs> I guess I don't care. Who kills them? Uh, yep, that's done, I think. At least I don't see any more any more max. Heading out. Coordinates received. Position confirmed. That one unit has still to move into the landing zone, so could you please do that? Yep, alright. The objective is secured, Commander. Good. Very good. Get to the evac zone, really? Okay then. More fighting to be done, I guess. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are right now. Okay, so that's good. Mission successful. I like it. I like it. Okay, we got 20% more because we took these guys out um, around a restoration. Likes us a little bit more. I think the salvage is not really going to be worth it from that one, though. I mean, at least we didn't take any damage. Our t uh, pilots didn't take any damage, so... Oh, well. Any good weapons on here? Ooh. I'm getting some PPCs. Really no good weapons in here, though. Hmm. How heavy is a PPC? It's only seven. Maybe I put a PPC on my Jäger Mac. Like, I have, I have energy stuff. Optimal is 360. Max, 550. How about the laser? 300. Hmm. It's not quite as long range. But it could still increase our damage output a little bit. But then on the other hand, where am I gonna where am I gonna find seven tons? That's just not a thing. I think we're just gonna use more of these mechs. Just take some panther parts. We haven't taken any panther. As of yet. Oh no. That is actually not gonna work. Um <sighs> Yeah, screw that. I'm going to take the PPC then. Oh yeah, we got both PPCs. That's fine. Can use them at some point. Got a decent value out of this. Hmm. I mean... Job's done, Commander. Right. So that's that. Financial report. I think there are no more contracts in this place. Yeah, we would have to travel somewhere. And they're both leading to Kimi. Oh, this one pays close to a million. Freaking hell. For weeks now, pirate forces have been scouting territory near local government controlled land. Previous surveys of this land shows nothing of interest, yet there they are. Whatever it is that they found, we don't want to have them. Go in there and destroy them. Um, Darius says this could be a wild goose chase. Of course, if there's nothing to find, they haven't wasted the time of their own max. And where's the other one? Satellite surveillance pictures show that a heavy lens was inserted onto the planet's surface by a pirate dropship. Currently, we believe they're securing their LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, I would like you to interrupt them. They're heavily armed, so expect strong resistance. That will probably give us a couple of really heavy and decent mechs. Mm hmm. Sounds fun. Like that's seven hundred k, and that's a million. There's like decent money to be made with that. We have two million bucks at the moment. Let's have a last look into the store. Maybe there's something that I want to buy. 
A setting AC20 is in here. Hmm, still kind of tempted to take that LRM10. Maybe. And then we also have the LRM20. These are pretty crazy things, the LRM20s. I might be able to fit one onto the Shadowhawk. It does additional damage. Actually, one damage on these is pretty nice. It does five instead of four. So, like, does 20 additional damage if they all hit. They weigh 10 tons, though. It's a very heavy weapon. I will. I will. New weapon systems available. So we got that one. Just I, I don't want to pass it up. There's nothing else good in here. Mm. I don't think I'm going to use many LRM tens. They take two slots as well. I think we're just going to move it and leave. Do we have anything to sell? Could sell the locust. Getting some discount. I think we're just getting good prices here, which kind of makes me consider to sell the spider and the locust. Because we're currently not using them. I'm not sure if I ever plan using them. We're never going to get better prices than here, I think. With the Arana restoration. They really like us. Yeah, we don't need 22 of these lasers. Like if we drop down to 10, we still have more than enough. So it brings us up to 1.6 million PPCs we can keep. What else do we have? Not a lot of these short-range missiles. 19 generic jump jets. Tons of AC-5 ammo. Some MGs. How many of the large lasers do we have? Three. Okay, we'll probably want to keep those. I will. I'm going to sell those mechs. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. So we're up to 2 million now. I like it. Um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, we're still gonna travel into the other system so that we're like ready to take that contract. Which one do we take? Nosy neighbor or that one? Hot landing. I think we're gonna take the hot landing first and then go for the nosy neighbor afterwards. I, I want the salvage. That would be pretty nice. So negotiate. Hmm. Contract includes travel to Kimi. I mean, let's have a look into navigation. Where are we actually? So we are here. There's a travel contract in Kimi. That's pretty close by. We are... The Iran Restoration has like three planets. Fjaldr. They have no population. Climate, Mars, population, none. Worldly has a small population. If we, if we would like to go to like inner planet stuff, things might be nicer for us. That has a medium population. We might be able to like get nicer things. We'll see the active factions. Attributes, mining, agriculture, periphery, level civilization, moderate population, former Starlink presence. Okay. Can we go inside the spaces too? Yeah. One could like try to get into the Federated Suns even. Or the Torians. That could be a thing. Find somewhere where we can buy really good weapons. I mean we have a ton of money. Was once a bustling growing colony. Hmm. This one? No. If any one of you actually knows a place where I can easily buy good stuff. Oh, it actually gives me a system challenge as well. If any of you knows where I can buy good stuff, then uh, let me know, please. We're still travel restricted, uh, actually, so I can't even go into their space. That is fine. Mm, okay, let's take the contract. And we're actually going to try to get the most salvage out of this. Money is currently not a problem, so if I can get like a heavier mech out of this with three parts, then I'm going to take it. There's a good chance that we can. And I kind of would like to have that. I mean, all the while we're building our mech bay up. So that's good. 
Mm, we'll go with this. We'll go just with normal morale. Oh, it might be generous. Yeah, let's, let's say it normal. It actually makes quite a difference in terms of how long we have to run our company. I should probably go for one of the mechs and just change what they have as their loadout. But I think we're going to keep it for uh, as it is for now. I mean, like, I could put the Jäger mech back to its original configuration with just two AC5s and two AC2s. But I don't know. It doesn't have any, complete, any jump jets on it. So. Uh, okay, I went transit, which apparently means that the habitation things are, like, folded in. Mm, let's go for ship upgrades. We'll be able to do this much faster now with, uh, with the mech upgrades and all. This needs improved power conduits and structural repair. Very expensive, 2.2 million. That is crazy. We'll go for the lounge. 200,000. That's also pretty crazy. I wish I could upgrade the med bay. That would be pretty nifty. I mean, could get two tech points from that. That's 450,000. That's 270,000. That's 270,000. Why is that so much? Oh, that is just 10 days. So it's much faster than the other one. Yeah, I think we should actually just start with the training module for now. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. So that we can um, have people train and move. Poker night. Horrorth, it's poker night. Darius is prowling outside your quarters as you return after dinner. Poker night. Darius first insisted because he said it will keep his skills sharp. He doesn't always win, so perhaps he's right. It's usually the senior staff he robs into playing, although occasionally some other lucky crew member or guest is invited to the table. But you're the boss. He can't make you play. Pass on the game, play casually, play to win. Manipulate the game. There are pirate ways. And we're going to play to win. This is just a friendly game, Darius intones as he shuffles the deck of cards. You lean forward. Speak for yourself. I'm here to win. Dr. Murad, who only attends to socialize, soon vanishes, and Yang is out early. But the bout between you, Sumir, and Darius goes late into the night. Eventually, Sumir shakes her head. I have to get some sleep and withdraw, stalking away from the game table. Shortly after that, Darius says, you win, Commander, this time. That was an excellent game. I'll see you in about three hours for our daily meeting. He too departs, leaving you alone with a big pile of chips representing some of your staff's earnings. They'll get them back again when you pay them next, anyhow. No lasting consequences. That's nice. I get nothing. <laughs> I guess I dodged something, maybe. Some negative consequences. Alright, so we're not going to proceed to that contract yet. We're going to do that next episode. I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like. I hope I see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.